What's up YouTube, my name is Justin, aka I'm just Anthony. Today you're watching my first episode on learning how to skate. We're in this series, I'm going to be recording and documenting my efforts to become a better skateboarder. Hopefully showing you guys some tips I've learned along the way, as well as hopefully you guys sharing any tips you have with me, as most of you are probably better skateboarders than I am. But in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys my board setup, all the parts that I have, and actually how to set up a board. Probably going to be one of my longer videos on my channel. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna, gonna be showing you guys my skateboard setup. I'm gonna start off by showing you the parts, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my board. Started with my board, my deck. I read a 7.775 board, size board. And right now, as you can see, I have the Nigel Houston Element Skateboard with two Spitfire stickers, making sure you guys can see it. One right there, a smaller one and the big one. I hope it isn't showing up backwards for you guys. I have no idea. And that's what I write for my board. That's going to be my deck for now until I get another board. I don't know what my next board will be. My trucks, I write Thunder Trucks, Black Thunder Trucks. I got all of this from Zombie. Shout out to Zombie. They actually set up the board for me at the store, but I took it apart for this video. But I write Thunder Trucks. They're pretty basic trucks. I really, I mean, most people write Silver Trucks, but I don't know. The dude at Zombies recommended these for me, and this is actually my first black truck. I usually ride unpainted silver trucks but these are thunder trucks an element board Nike houston board shout out to Nike houston great skater uh and i also use spitfire wheels as you can see from the spitfire sticker you know spitfire white wheels i think these are size okay so for here, size 52 millimeter so these are actually are these small or standard I think they're at the least standard. Standard might be 55 or 53. I don't know, but 52 milliliter. And, you know, my hardware, like my washers, my bolts, my my nails and stuff. Those are pretty, like, standard, generic stuff. I don't think that really matters that much. Uh, you guys can see that. You know, just some standard bolt, washer, and, you know, nail. My grip tape, just basic grip tape. Like I said, Zoomies set up the board for me so they put the grip tape on i'm glad they did that because i didn't want to mess it up grip tape was pretty important i already got a little scratch there right here you can kind of see it but yeah this is my board i, I like it it says 7.775 it might be a little bigger than 7.775 but i like it can't wait to get the skated on it I'm gonna bring you guys some videos on that and i showed you guys everything else my wheels did I show you my wheels? Yeah, I did show you my wheels. My wheels and my trucks. They already put the little black thing in there. I forgot what it's called. I'm not. I'm new to skateboarding. I'm sorry. And I'm looking at the my monitor up there so I can make sure that everything is in frame and in camera. Making sure that you guys see everything. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the skate to set this up. Actually, my Omni tool, my skate tool, the green skate tool. This is very useful for skateboarding, everything that you need. And I'm actually gonna start putting this together. It's not that hard. It is very simple to assemble a skateboard. Uh, I'm gonna be fast forwarding this, this stuff, you know, putting my trucks on and my wheels because I don't have a drill and it kinda takes a long time, but we're gonna get started. I'm gonna be unscrewing all of these because I put the little bolt on the nail so I wouldn't lose them. They're all in my skate shoe box, you know all of my stuff my wheels and stuff i have my trucks and my other wheel out there so i'm gonna get started with this and i'm probably gonna be fast forwarding all of this stuff because it's gonna be boring to watch me do it i'm gonna be slowing it down and talking about certain stuff as i get to that point and i'll see you at the end of this little fast forward session i guess So I just put the screws in the back of the board and connected the trucks to the, well the screws on the top of the board and put the trucks on the back of the board. And now I'm putting the bolts on to kind of like tighten it, the trucks to the board. And we're going to put all four of these on. And I'm going to explain a good way to um, make sure you don't over tighten your trucks. Make sure you guys can see this in the camera. Right now I'm working on the back of the board and I have a specific like, not like, it's like a specific way I like to do my, a lot of skaters like to 
do their front trucks like how I'm gonna show you. It's not this big, it's just a little specification. Okay, one more bolt. Okay, so after you get all four bolts on to your nail, wait. Okay, now after you get all four bolts onto your nail, you're gonna wanna take your Omni tool and your alley key, which should come, like your Omni tool should have an alley key in it like mine does right here. Pull it out, that's what you use where your screws, your bolts, your bearings, your bushings, all of that stuff. And what you want to do is just tighten it. And a good way to tighten it so you don't over tighten it, like I said earlier, is you want to start in a star pattern. So if you want to do a star pattern, you can start from any nail, but start from like a nail right here, and then you want to go up with a nail like here, then you want to go here, across, and down. So like here, 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 here. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, here, here, here. So it's like, you know, a little little stars, four corners, but it's it's called the start pattern. I don't know why. So I'm gonna start from here. What you wanna do is you wanna take your Omni tool or your skate tool, whatever you wanna call it, and you wanna press down on this bolt with the small end, the small end, whatever end that may be of your skate tool. You wanna press it down, press the bolt down, take your alley key, put it on the nail, and just tighten your nail. All you're doing is holding the bolt in place. You're just holding the bolt in place because if you didn't have a skate tool, or if you didn't have anything holding down this bolt, it doesn't have to be a skate tool, whatever can hold down a bolt, like pliers. If you didn't have something to hold down this bolt, when you try to screw the nail, you would just be twisting the bolt as well. So you're not really like getting tighter. The trucks aren't getting tighter. And that's why the skate tool is pretty useful. So now this bolt's pretty tight. Like I said, star pattern, I started with this bolt here, with this nail here, and I'm gonna go across to this nail. You want to do the same thing. You just want to hold down the bolt on the bottom of the board and just screw the nail on the top. And I'm going to actually fast forward through this because it's not that fun to watch. So I'm done with the first truck. As you can see, my truck is on tight. I'm probably gonna like loosen it as I break it in. You know, you want your truck to be kind of loose, not really. That all depends on the bushing right here. I'm pretty sure this is the bushing. The big bolt right here that kind of hold it to the, I don't know anything about skateboarding. Maybe this is the bushing actually. I don't know. Don't kill me in the comments. But I did one truck. I'm gonna do the next truck. And I'm gonna fast forward through that as well because you already saw me do this truck. And I'll bring you guys back after I'm done doing the second truck, or after you're done watching the fast forward. And like I said, when I, I think a lot of skaters like to do when they're doing their front trucks is they like to put like a silver, like all of my screws are black. Let me take one out for you guys. All of my screws are black. But I have one silver-ish truck. It's kind of it's kind of like an old screw from an old board. But I have like one silver truck that I like to put in the front of the board, just so like when you're skating, you know which which is your front because having a board to the front is kind of useful for a lot of skaters. It helps them land more tricks somehow. I don't know. It's just it's just a visual you know preference kind of thing. Like I said earlier, it's all about preference. Skateboarding is all about preference. Whatever you like to do, that's what you like to do. So now both trucks 
on my skateboard as you can see both black trucks and like I said earlier I usually don't skate black trucks I usually skate silver or I have like one skateboard with red trucks but I feel like black trucks really suit this skateboard because it has a lot of black in it and black and red really goes together nicely. So silver trucks and black trucks go with anything bro just like black and white you know goes with anything. But as you can see I have my one silver screw out of all my black screws just to tell me which side is my front side whenever I'm skating so like if I do a trick or like you know some kind of shove it some kind of you know 360 or some some kind of trick that switches the side of my skateboard I can always tell which side is my front side so now we're gonna get to the wheels and we're almost done with this skateboard setup so like I said I have my 52 millimeter Spitfire wheels and the guy at Zoomies already put like the little thing that pushes into the truck I don't know what it's called like I said I'm new to skateboarding but he already did that so I don't have to do it but if you needed to do it it's just a little black like rubber kind of piece you just put it in the skateboarder you can use like an Omni tool and just like press it in like or a truck press it in just press it into the something just to make sure it's tight and in there it's kind of like really don't even know how to explain it but the design I'm pretty sure this is the front the design is here but me, I like to usually turn the design or the logo inward, like, instead of having it facing out like this, instead of having it facing this way, I like to turn it this way, just so I can have a fully white wheel. And it kind of looks cool, like, on the other side. I don't know. I just, I just like how it looks. So, we're going to get to putting this wheel on. And what you want to do, I'm going to show you guys how to put the first wheel on, and then I'm going to fast forward the rest of the three. So, what you want to do is you want to take one of your washers. You want to put it on before you put your bolt on. So you drop your washer, screw your bolt in just a little, because obviously it's going to get too tight for your hand to finish. You want to take whatever side your Omni tool has that does this size bolt. You just want to screw it. You just want to twist it in. That's it. That's it. That's all. And you want to get it really tight at first. And then like loosen it a little. Loosen it. You want to make sure it spins a decent amount. Like that's too tight. You want to make sure you get a good spin on it. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. Might be actually a little loose. We'll see. All of this is preference. Some people like their stuff tight. Some people like their stuff loose. It's all preference. But I'm going to fast forward through the rest of these three wheels. And... That's basically going to be it for this skate video. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Might stand on it. Might try to do a trick. Who knows? Really probably shouldn't do a trick up here. But we'll see. And we're back. Well, guys, actually, I think I may have forgot why I obviously did forget to put a washer in one of my wheels. I actually don't know what a washer is used for. All I know is that it should be in one of my wheels. Does this one have a washer? Nope, this is the wheel that is lost the washer. And I almost lost my bolt, which would have been even worse to losing a washer. Because washers are probably useless. I don't know what washers are for. Let me know in the comments if you know what a washer is used for. One thing I like about, or one thing for my wheels, like I said, it's all preference. Uh, you want to make sure, like, what up? I like to make sure that my wheels kind of like shake a little on the trucks. I don't know if you can hear that. You should be able to hear that. Shake a little bit on the trucks and make sure they can spin. Like if they're too tight, they won't spin that much. They all seem pretty good, but that's basically my skateboard setup. In all of its glory setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Element, like I said. Shout out to Zoomy. Shout out to Nigel Houston. 
great board, great company, great person. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, our previous and future videos with your friends. And I will see you guys in my next video coming soon.